Hey everybody, welcome to the show. We're so excited to have you here with us today. Whether you're tuning in for the first time or you're a regular viewer, we promise to bring you something special. You know, one thing I've learned over the years is that keeping an audience engaged is like keeping a puppy entertained. You gotta bring the energy and keep things interesting. Just like a puppy needs constant stimulation and fun activities to stay happy, your audience needs dynamic content to stay hooked. And that's what we're talking about today, how to make your videos absolutely captivating. We'll dive into the techniques and strategies that can transform your content from ordinary to extraordinary. Whether you're a seasoned YouTuber or just starting out, keeping your viewers hooked is key. It's not just about the content you create, but how you present it. The way you engage with your audience can make all the difference. Think of it like this. Each section of your video is like a new act in a show. Just as a theater performance is divided into acts that keep the audience on the edge of their seats, your video should have distinct segments that maintain interest and build anticipation. You need a killer opening to grab their attention and make them want to see what happens next. The first few seconds are crucial. They set the tone and determine whether viewers will stay or click away. Imagine this. You're watching a cooking show and bam, the chef throws flour in the air and it's a flower party. That's an intro. It's bold, it's fun, and it immediately draws you in. It's exciting, unexpected, and makes you want to stick around for the recipe, right? That's the kind of energy you want to bring to your videos. You want your audience to be curious and eager to see what's next. So, how do you do it? How do you create those can't miss this moments in your videos? It all starts with planning and creativity. Think about what makes your content unique and how you can highlight that in an engaging way. How do you create those can't miss this moments in your videos? It's about more than just the visuals. It's about the story you tell and the emotions you evoke. Use your voice, your expressions, and your editing to create a narrative that captivates. Well, stick around because we're about to dive into the exciting world of engaging video sections. We'll explore different techniques from storytelling and pacing to visual effects and sound design. By the end of this episode, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to make your videos stand out and keep your audience coming back for more. So let's get started and make some magic happen. All right, let's talk about how to start each section of your video with a bang. It's crucial to captivate your audience from the very first moment. Think of it as setting the stage for an unforgettable performance. You want to grab your viewer's attention right from the start, just like when I dance my way onto the stage. The energy you bring in those initial seconds can set the tone for the entire video. A great way to do this is by asking a question related to the topic of that section. Questions are powerful tools because they engage the viewer's mind and make them think. For example, let's say you're making a video about the best pizza toppings. You could start by showing a delicious pizza being made, with all the vibrant toppings being added. Then, you could start a section by asking, have you ever wondered what the most controversial pizza topping is? This question immediately sparks curiosity and gets your audience thinking. See, now you're curious, right? Questions like these are great because they create a sense of intrigue and anticipation. You want to know the answer. This curiosity drives engagement and keeps viewers hooked. And that's the magic of a good question. It opens up a dialogue between you and your audience, making them feel involved in the content. It creates intrigue and makes people want to keep watching. When viewers feel like they're part of a conversation, they're more likely to stay engaged. Remember, connecting with your viewers is key. It's not just about delivering information. It's about building a relationship. Make them feel like they're part of the conversation. Use your tone, expressions and body language to convey enthusiasm and interest. Ask questions that make them think, laugh or even gasp. These emotional responses create a memorable experience for your viewers. Share personal stories or anecdotes that relate to the topic. This not only makes your content more relatable, but also adds a human touch. Plan your questions and opening statements carefully. Think about what will resonate most with your audience and how you can present it in an engaging way. During the editing process, ensure that your opening moments are sharp and impactful. Use visuals, music and sound effects to enhance the engagement. When you grab attention from the get-go, you're setting yourself up for success. Your viewers will be more likely to stay, watch and even share your content. So start strong, keep them engaged and make every second count. Your audience will thank you for it. Okay, so you've posed a question that's got your viewers on the edge of their seats. Now what? It's time for the big reveal. 
Answering the question you posed is crucial for keeping your audience engaged. But don't just give a boring one-word answer. Make it fun, informative, and maybe even a little surprising. Going back to our pizza topping example, you could answer the question by saying, believe it or not, the most controversial pizza topping is pineapple. Some people love it, while others think it's a crime against pizza. See how much more interesting that is than just saying pineapple. You've given context, sparked a debate, and kept your viewers entertained. Now that you've got your viewers hooked with a great intro and a satisfying answer, it's time to keep that momentum going. This is where calls to action come in. A call to action is simply a request for your viewers to do something. It could be anything from subscribing to your channel to leaving a comment below. For example, you could say, what do you think? Are you team pineapple or team no pineapple? Let me know in the comments below. By encouraging your viewers to interact, you're creating a sense of community and making them feel like they're part of the show. Section five survey says engagement. You know I love a good game show and you know what else I love? Engagement. There's something magical about the energy of a live audience, the thrill of answering questions, and the joy of seeing people participate. It's not just about the prizes or the competition, it's about the connection and the shared experience. And that's where surveys come in. Surveys are like mini game shows that everyone can be a part of, no matter where they are. They bring that same excitement and engagement right to your fingertips. Surveys are a fun and interactive way to get your viewers thinking and participating. They can be used in so many creative ways to make your content more engaging. Imagine your audience eagerly waiting to see the results of a poll or a survey, just like they would wait for the answer to a game show question. You can use surveys to get opinions, gather data, or even spark a lively discussion. They can be a powerful tool to understand your audience better and tailor your content to their preferences. Plus, they add an element of interactivity that keeps viewers coming back for more. Or just have a little fun with your audience. Think of it as a way to break the ice and make your content more relatable. People love to share their thoughts and be part of something bigger. For example, you could ask, what's your go-to pizza topping? It's a simple question, but it can lead to some interesting conversations and insights. Plus, who doesn't love talking about food and give them a few options to choose from? This not only makes it easy for people to participate, but also adds a fun element to your content. It's like having a virtual pizza party with your audience. You can even create polls right on YouTube. It's a great way to engage with your viewers in real time and get instant feedback. Plus, it shows that you value their opinions and want to hear from them or use other online tools to make it super easy for people to participate. There are so many platforms and tools available that make creating and sharing surveys a breeze. Whether it's a quick poll on social media or a detailed questionnaire, the possibilities are endless. Trust me, people love sharing their opinions and it's a great way to keep them engaged with your video. When people feel heard and valued, they are more likely to stay connected and invested in your content. So, go ahead and start incorporating surveys into your videos. It's a simple yet effective way to boost engagement and create a more interactive experience for your audience. Happy surveying! Section 6. It's all about connection. You know, the heart of any good show is connection. It's about making people feel something, whether it's joy, laughter, or even a little bit of curiosity. And that's what we're trying to do with our videos, too. We want to connect with our viewers on a human level and make them feel like they're part of something special. So how do we do that? By being ourselves, by being authentic, and by genuinely caring about the people watching. Section 7. Lights, Camera, Interaction. All right, let's talk about interaction. Just like on my show, where I love getting the audience involved, you want your viewers to feel like they're part of the action. And how do we do that? By talking to them. Encourage your viewers to leave comments, ask questions, and share their thoughts. Respond to their comments, give shout outs, and make them feel heard. Remember, it's a two-way street. The more you interact with your viewers, the more invested they'll be in your content. Section 8. Your turn to shine. Now it's your turn. Go out there and create engaging, interactive videos that'll keep your audience hooked from beginning to end. Remember to start 